the six best data engineering certifications. That is what we'll talk about in this video. Drop a like for more videos like this and let's get started. Now getting a certification is a great way to force yourself to learn the right skills and then get a proof that you have the right skills. The main benefit is actually that you can show it to employers, which makes you credible and in turn more employable on the job market. But the problem is that not all certifications are the same. And if you pick the wrong cert, you'll waste weeks, if not months, with little to no reward. There are plenty of people who get certifications and never see any progress. That's just the honest truth. Now, this video actually took me many days of research, and I'm going to share every little secret with you in this video. We'll cover both advanced and beginner level certs that you can get to land your first job in no specific order, so make sure to stick around until the end. Even if all of the certifications will not be relevant for you now, you should be aware of them early so that you can take them in the future when you are ready and use them to improve your career, get new opportunities, and just increase your salary and opportunities overall. Number one on the list is going to be Google Professional Data Engineer. You'll be tested on your ability to design data processing systems, store data, maintain automated data workloads, ingest and process data, and finally prepare and use data for analysis. So basic data engineering tasks is what you're going to be tested on. The price is a maximum of $200 or lower depending on your location. And it's a two hour exam available in English and only Japanese surprisingly, and that's 50 to 60 multiple choice questions. So no open ended questions, which I know a lot of you guys really don't want. So that's why I'm mentioning it. There are no prerequisites for this one although they do recommend three years of industry experience, including one year designing and managing solutions using Google Cloud. So as with the previous Google certs we mentioned, the best way to prepare is just to get some experience and then check the details of the exam and fill in the gaps as you go. Number two is going to be the Cloudera Certified Data Engineer. And this one is very, very interesting. The exam itself is very different than the other ones that we mentioned so far, because it actually contains five to 10 hands-on tasks, which you will have to perform by working with the Cloudera enterprise cluster, so their own tool. It's going to test your ability even deeper than the other ones because you actually have to apply it yourself. The price is $330 for the entire certification. And you'll have a time limit of 240 minutes, which is pretty long for a certification like this. And it means that you'll be sitting there for four hours if you want to. Now, it might sound like a ton of time, but also consider the fact that you're doing hands on tasks, which means that you'll not just be answering a simple question, but rather implement a working solution and multiple tasks because because there are actually multiple things that you have to implement. The requirements and how to prepare are very vague for this one. I mean, they're looking for somebody with in-depth experience developing data engineering solutions. They do have some more specific information on their page, but in general, it's certainly more for the advanced person. Number three on the data engineering list is going to be the AWS Certified Data Engineer Associate. And this one is gonna be way better for people who are not experts who are more looking to you know, get a new job or get their first job. This one will focus on correlated AWS services. Your ability to ingest and transfer transform data, as well as build data pipelines while applying programming concepts, design data models, manage data life cycles, and ensure quality of your data. Again, common data engineering tasks focusing on using AWS services. The price is around 150 bucks, but may vary depending on your location. And it is 130 minutes for the exam, 65 multiple choice questions. And this one is also part of the associate level exams. To give you a better idea, I want to explain these different levels so that you know what level you should focus on if you're taking an AWS exam. Amazon Web Services or AWS has four different certification levels. The first one is called foundational certifications. And then we have associates. We also have professional and specialty. Now there's not a data engineering certification at the foundational level. So this is actually the earliest or the most beginner level friendly data engineering certification that you can get from Amazon. They still recommend two to three years of data engineering expertise, or at least one to two years specifically working with AWS. But these are just recommendations and there are actually no specific prerequisites. So if you are an overachiever and you're able to study up on all of this on your own, you're able to do projects and really learn hands-on, you could take this one even without work experience. Now, I'm not saying that it's gonna be easy or the best option for beginners in any way, but I'm just saying that if you are an overachiever, these requirements are usually meant to scare you away rather than make you sign up for the certification. So you may wanna consider it. To prepare for this one, you can start by understanding the exam and what questions they ask, and then you can learn about the different topics as well as go to their exam preparation guide. And finally, 
They have a practice exam, which I highly, highly recommend that you take to see what your level is at, perhaps even before you get started studying for it, because if you're so far away, then maybe you want to focus on something else. Another bonus with the AWS certifications that you might have missed is that getting a certification will actually give you 50% on your next exam. So if you want to get multiple ones from Amazon, you can save a lot of money by just taking one and getting a discount on the next one. All right, number four on the list is the Databricks Certified Data Engineer associate and this one is beginner level for once I mean there's been a lot of more advanced one on this list but we do have some beginner ones as well and I think those ones are important because most of you guys are going to be at the beginner level but it's still important to be aware of all of them the objective here is to use the Databricks Lakehouse platform to complete introductory level data engineering tasks if we look at the details of the exam it's actually divided up into five different sections the first one is the Databricks Lakehouse platform which is 24% of the the exam. Part 2 is ELT with Spark, SQL and Python and ELT stands for Extract, Load and Transform and this is around 29% of the exam contents. Then Incremental Data Processing at 22%, Production Pipelines at 16 and finally Data Governance at another 9%. When it comes to the price, it's 200 bucks for the certification and you have 90 minutes to answer 45 multiple choice questions. They don't have any prerequisites, but they do recommend related training and they also recommend six months of hands-on experience with data engineering and the tasks outlined in the exam guide. I do believe that it should be achievable even without a job because you can get experience from projects and other forms of learning, not just work experience. But if you do have more experience and you want to go for another certification that's slightly more advanced, they do also have a professional level certification. For this one, they recommend one year of hands-on experience instead of six months. So it's still relatively beginner friendly, it covers Databricks tools, data processing, data modeling, security and governance, monitoring and logging and testing and deployment. The main thing to consider about this one is that if it's relevant to your career, you have to decide if the Databricks Lakehouse platform is something that you want to focus on. If you want to focus on other platforms or tools, then it's probably not going to be the best option. So you may want to consider that before you get started. All right, number five, or actually number six is the Microsoft Azure Data Engineering Associate Certification. First, it's all about learning to manage and analyze data using Microsoft Azure and different cloud services. They also focus a lot on SQL in this one, and it's a key skill for the Azure Data Engineer, so you'll be tested on that as well. In the requirements, they write that you must have a solid knowledge of data processing languages, including SQL, Python, and Scala. Now for the price, it's 165 bucks in the US, 113 pounds in the UK, and 4,800 Indian rupees at the moment of this recording. The cost varies depending on your location, so it's best to check the official Microsoft website. For the exam, you need to pass the DP203 exam and if we do take a look at the skills measured section we can see that it's roughly 15 to 20 percent design and implement data storage 40 to 45 percent develop data processing which is going to be the main part of the exam and finally 35 or 30 to 35 percent about securing monitoring and optimizing data storage and data processing this exam is for data professionals with a background in sql python and scala that are looking to focus on learning and getting certified in azure's data services focusing on data engineering for that reason, I would not recommend it for beginners, but you can always give it a try as long as you check out the exam preparation material and see where you are currently at. And it can also be a very fun learning experience to just try where you're at for different certifications. I'm going to leave all the links in the description and check out this video next, handpicked by the YouTube algorithm for you. I hope this was helpful. Have an amazing week, guys.